Hello hello my friends. This is an ancient map of the North Pole. The North Pole is a magnetic mountain goes back at least to Roman times. The North Pole is a magnetic mountain surrounded by a circular continent divided by four powerful rivers from maps Martin Behaim's 1492 globe shows, at the Arctic Pole there is a high magnetic rock. 33 German miles in circumference. A surging sea surrounds this rock, as if the water were discharged downward from a vase through an opening. Around it are islands, two of which are inhabited. Mercator's map from 1595 showing the Arctic continent, with the Rups Nigra at Altissima, black and highest rock, at its center. The rock is the site of the North Pole, captioned as the POLVSARCTICVS. Gerardus Mercator's world map of 1569 reflects his reading of Sinoyan's itinerarium. It also features a marginal note alluding to the Franciscan's discovery. We have taken, the Arctic geography, from the itinerarium of Jacobus Sinoyan of The Hague, who makes some citations from the Gesta of Arthur of Britain. However, the greater and most important part he learned from a certain priest at the court of the King of Norway in 1364. He was descended in the fifth generation from those whom Arthur had sent to inhabit these lands, and he related that in the year 1360 a certain Minorite, an Englishman from Oxford, a mathematician, went to those islands, leaving them, advanced still farther by magic arts and mapped out all and measured them by an astrolabe in practically the subjoined figure. As we have learned from Jacobus, the four canals there pictured he said flow with such current to the inner whirlpool, that if vessels once enter they cannot be driven back by wind. The Arctic map inset on Mercator's 1569 world map was the prototype for the influential and widely circulated Septentrionellium Terrarum of 1595, posthumously published by his son, and the maps in Ortelius's Theatrum Orbis Terrarum of 1570. Both show the same configuration of the Arctic regions as the 1569 map. In his letter to D. Mercator further quotes Sinoyan's description of the northern regions. In the midst of the four countries is a whirlpool into which there empty these four indrawing seas which divides the north. And the water rushes round and descends into the earth just as if one were pouring it through a filter funnel. It is four degrees wide on every side of the pole, that is to say eight degrees altogether. Except that right under the pole there lies a bare rock in the midst of the sea. Its circumference is almost 33 French miles, and it is all of magnetic stone. And is as high as the clouds. So the priest said, who had received the astrolabe from this minorite in exchange for a testament. And the minorite himself had heard that one can see all round it from the sea. And that it is black and glistening. And nothing grows thereon, for there is not so much as a handful of soil on it. More interesting to modern researchers are the people the friar encountered. Pygmies, who may well be identical with the Skraelings referred to in Old Norse texts about Greenland, predecessors of the modern Inuit. The John Day letter in 1956 a letter referring to the existence of the book was found in the Archivo General de Semencas, Spain, from the English merchant John Day to the most magnificent and most worthy lord. The Lord Grand Admiral, presumably Christopher Columbus. Written in either December 1497 or January 1498, John Day says, Your Lordship's servant brought me your letter. I have seen its contents and I would be most desirous and most happy to serve you. I do not find the book in Ventio Fortunata, and I thought that I, or he, was bringing it with my things, and I am very sorry not to, find it because I wanted very much to serve you. I am sending the other book of Marco Polo and a copy of the land which has been found, by John Cabot. The Rupes Nigra, Black Rock, a phantom island, is believed to be a 33-mile wide black rock, Mercator actually describes the rock's circumference as 33, French, miles, 
located at the magnetic North Pole or at the North Pole itself, it purportedly explains why all compasses point to this location, comes from a lost work titled Inventio Fortunata. And the island features on maps from the 16th and 17th centuries, including those of Gerardus Mercator and his successors. Mercator describes the island in a 1577 letter to John D. In the midst of the four countries is a whirlpool, into which there are empty these four indrawing seas which divide the north. And the water rushes round and descends into the earth just as if one were pouring it through a filter funnel. It is four degrees wide on every side of the pole. That is to say eight degrees altogether. Except that right under the pole there lies a bare rock in the midst of the sea. Its circumference is almost 33 French miles. And it is all of magnetic stone, Jacobus Sinoyan, years ago. Thanks subscribe.